Hello boxing fans and fight fans. Welcome to BBC House. Last week we learned that Walter was going to meet with the chairman of this on John Skipper. And according to recent news, they've met. Ah Heyman was there, Shella Finkel was there. You know, Lou Dibella was there and other managers of the Underwater. You know, the Underwater has lots of managers. I don't even know how he pays them. You know, for a, a fighter that does not really hand the Mayweather money, he has a lot of, you know, members in his team, which is interesting why AJ only has a couple of them. And AJ earns even more money than water, more, double, even maybe soon triple, who knows. Um, The meeting was a Sussex, according to Shelly Finko, the manager of the Ontario Water. He said they didn't totally agree in everything, but it's a progress, you know, and this meeting might definitely be progressive in the next few days to come depending on what Chalafinko, Ahiman J. Diaz and all other members of Team Water decides to do because they're going to look at the options they've got Showtime option they've got Fox option they've got ESPN option and they've got the day zone option, but there is nothing like the day zone option because the day zone option is very clear. We offer you millions upon millions to fight in our platform plus the Joshua fight. What is Showtime option? I don't know how it's going to be. Showtime are currently running out of money, you know. Steven Espinosa right now must be the most frustrated man in the world right now. I mean, being in the, on a platform like Showtime, you know, and a very Showtime is a, is, is, a, is, a, is a gigantic platform in my opinion, gigantic network. So, Britain is that they are not really investing a lot. You know, of their money in boxing. Um, ESPN, on the other hand, uh, giants, and they are really definitely investing a lot of money. They've just signed Tyson Fury and looking forward in signing Dillia Watt as well, which would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> their division is very good, and their zone is very very you know serious about making boxing great again now um the water fanboys are now in support of water going to the desert remember that wasn't the case before you know I watched a lot of their channels you know I, I, I follow some of them not all of them I, I'm subscribed to some of them I, I like uh, Black Fight Fan TV although me and him we've had it before and right it was back then when I had about 100 subs and he had about 4,000 subs I challenged him in a way when he talked about Joshua you know not being Nigerian or so you know I challenged him for that and uh, but we cool we cool uh, he's a nice guy, I think. Um, he's also very realistic. He's not that deluded compared to the other FDBC uh, bigots, you know. But overall, I still have my you know opinion about FDBC and the damage they've done to boxing. They have the advantage and disadvantage as well, you know. They are some of them are very nice. Some of them are educated, some of them, and you know, some of them are not nice. Uh, maybe it's just because of the environment they grew up in, I don't know. But 
to the sane boxing fans, sane, sane boxing fans like me. Some of them are not nice. But anyway, let's go straight to the point. The point is, Water meeting with um, Dazon was a success, and then the his fans are in support of it. Compared to before, they talked about Dazon being shit. They talked about Dazon, you know, falling behind, not being able to, you know, influence anything in the boxing, you know, industry. I always told those guys, I listen, Dazon are not a company to be toyed with. They came to Germany. Yeah, you have Sky Sports. You also have German national <clears throat> networks, TV networks. And they outpowered all of them. Sky Sports is a very powerful company, powerful network, but got outpowered by Dazon. Okay? <laughs> That's something you should know. I mean, they bought all the rights, a lot of rights uh, for sports here in Germany, you know. And they've definitely taken over. So why do you think they cannot do it the same in America? They zone are not a company, or it's not a company to be joked with. The owner is a billionaire. And who, is, who has a very huge fortune. And he does not shy away from spending that cash. And also, these owners just not in America. They are not just in Germany as well. They are in Austria. They are in Japan. They are in Spain, Italy. Soon to launch in uh, Brazil. And if you go to the uh, YouTube channel, Days on Brazil on YouTube, they haven't even launched yet, but they already have about 1 million plus subscribers. <laughs> Days on Brazil, go check it out right now. So these guys, you know, they know how to market stuff. You know, they know how to make their voices heard. They don't just have the money, they also have the connection. But one thing I'm happy about is that if this deal, you know, goes through and gets done, that means we will likely see the Joshua water fight the ending of this year, maybe next year. Um, even though water don't want to work with Eddie Hearn. Because he doesn't like Eddie Hearn, he's got to definitely work with him if he wants to fight Joshua. Because Joshua is signed to Eddie Hearn of Matro Boxing. And also, Dazon will be willing to put up the money, you know, for that fight to happen. Just, they did that with Joshua Miller. They gave Miller, you know, the rest of their money. I mean, Joshua wasn't going to pay Miller $8 million. You think Joshua's crazy or what? <laughs> it's not that stupid but they don't say where are we going to put up the money we just want you to come over to America and fight you know be a profile here you have the ability to do so and Joshua accepted and Joshua is getting paid ransomly they zone is a blessing to boxing I must say you know, I must say, you know, they are just um, trying to give the fans what they want to see. And also, they are trying to make it easier for fat fans around the globe to watch every boxing match for the sum of $10 or 10 euros or $20. I don't know how, how they charge in some countries like in Spain, they charge $5, five euro a month. And in Germany, 10 euro. In Italy, I don't know how much. I think it might be 5 euro, I don't know. In USA, 10 euro. So they, zone, they first of all look at a the country they're going into and study the economical um, situation and economical stand of the country before 
launching and knowing what to put up or knowing what people like they don't just go into a country and then just launch like that oh we're here now no it doesn't work that way they want to smarter than that you know the chairman of the zone john skipper is a very intelligent man a guy who definitely gets things done you know he's a business minded person you know and uh, he's definitely going to do a good job for the zone at the end of matro boxing what do you have to say about a guy people don't like him but he's the best promoter in the world very smart you know very charismatic you know and very friendly open to every question you ask him Eddie Hearn does not shy away from you confronting him if you want to confront Eddie Hearn and talk to him he doesn't shy away he doesn't say oh get off he stays right there and then listen to what you have to say and then give his opinion as well not like other promoters when you say stuff about them all they do is tell you to fuck off you know and other stuff well that's for now guys let's just see what happens in the next couple of days uh, let's hope this deal gets done because if the deal gets done gets done that means we will probably see one of our Joshua either the ending of this year or next year but I think the end of this year will be, there, will be better you know if Joshua gets back to Ramila and the hype build the hype around that as well you know Joshua we didn't have to with, meet with water you know it's gonna be very interesting they zone I hope they can get this done but if water and the steam don't want to accept the deal and they don't sign with this zone well that's their own cup of tea and that's their own loss you know Give it to us below guys, like the video, share, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Boxing Blogs, blo Boxing Blog. Follow me on Instagram as well at Boxing Blog Center. Cheers.